Wake up, two new mid-journey features just dropped, and these are pretty crazy. The first is a new weird parameter. I have to note that this is not considered a stable feature. Things may change over time, but let's take a look at it. First, here is just the regular neon Batman with no parameters. And this is what it looks like when we add a dash of weird to it. Uh... <laughs> I can already tell that this is going to be pretty fun to use. Here's weird 500, and uh, these are, yeah, pretty strange, I think is a good way to put it. <laughs> weird 1000? I'm pretty sure that's just Adam West there in the bottom left. Number four is actually kind of a cool picture, though. And you know what's crazy? Weird actually goes up to 3000. Here's 2000. And, uh, and number three is kind of reminds me of Abraham Lincoln, but he's got these weird Batman ears on him. Weird 3000. I like number three, but I don't know why it just puts these faces there. It's, I guess you could really only describe it as strange. And this whole weird parameter definitely reminds me of like a mix of chaos, which brings diversity, along with a mix of style cursed, which was a secret style in version four. I don't think it was in the patch notes, but if you put style cursed, you would get some pretty funny looking images that look a lot like this. And in the announcement, it was suggested that if we want to use the weird parameter, we should probably bump up the stylized value as well. So here's S400, weird 400. And I can see these are already getting a little more pretty. <laughs> you know, what else can I say? This is super strange. Doctor Strange, super weird. S600, weird 600. <laughs> Number two is pretty nasty. I like that. I, I don't really know why you'd want to use this. That's all I'm going to say. However, S800, weird 800. I like number one a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. That's a pretty cool picture. S1000, weird 1000. And, uh, okay. Interesting choices. And you know what? While we're here, let's try this. Let's do a re-roll and see how different the weird 1000 actually is. So we're going to go from this to these. What the? What? That? Oh, how? Ah, oh, goosebumps. How is that the same? Oh, like that's hurting my brain. How are you supposed to know what you're gonna get if two rerolls are that different? Okay, you know, we have to try it again. Okay, maybe this is a little bit in between both of those. Uh, suffice to say, there is a lot more to play with, if that's even possible. Even more rabbit holes to explore. It can be a little overwhelming and it'll probably drain your fast hours pretty quickly, but this is the future we live in. I don't think the human mind can really wrap around all of the possibilities enjoy. I have a few more examples though in case you're curious. We can start with this prompt, a blue sunset over the lava ocean, but look what adding weird does to it. Uh, it makes it pretty ugly, I think that's safe to say. Even with S500, these are still not the best. And it does say in the announcement that the strength of this command is dynamic with the prompt. You may need to adjust it prompt to prompt. So that's a little hard to understand, but I guess there's no set in stone value that will work from generation to generation. This one is, uh, it lives up to its name. It's weird. Anthropomorphic dog in battle armor. How much weirder could this get? I don't know why you would use this parameter. Yeah. I mean, you can get some interesting pictures, but I feel like this reminds me a lot of maybe stable diffusion, where off the start, you're basically only going to get something that's like kind of cool looking, but mostly not pretty. But if you're sick of the usual mid journey aesthetic, this is your answer. <laughs> Number one, look at his eyes. <laughs> what has that man seen? And actually, Weird 100 just on its own might be my favorite so far in my limited testing. It seems to add the best of chaos with a little more of something that you could never describe yourself. Okay, this next one's pretty cool. Menacing Alien Octopus War General. But look what I did here. I added in some extra chaos. I don't know if I recommend this, but it seemed to work out. Weird 100 S400 C8. And like number two, <laughs> that's so cool. I like that a lot. And then here it is at Chaos 40. And like look at number one and look at number three. Those are unreal. And the fact that they show up in the same grid as these other two, like that's that's a whole nother way of using mid journey. Okay, I've got two more examples before we move on to the next feature. Psychedelic Dragonfly Unsplash. Without any parameters in it, you can see that all four pictures kind of look the same. You can tell that they are related, if that makes sense. And then when we add Weird 100, we get four pretty different looking images. Maybe two and three are similar, but one and four. But the fact that they're all in the same generation, like that's 
pretty powerful, especially when you're just looking for one specific picture to blow your mind. Number one's amazing, I love number four. Let's see how it does with humans now. Portrait of an Instagram model, Fauvism Disco Acid Wave Style. And if you wanna know how I came up with that combination, you can check out my free PDF in the description. It has 200 aesthetics that I generated back in version four, but I still consult it to this day for inspiration like this. And these are pretty cool. But check it out when we add Weird 100. Look at number one and look at number four. Again, I don't think it's impossible to get those generations regularly, but you'd have to be pretty specific in your prompt. But now with just a dash of weird, you're able to get them much more quickly, all from the same foundational prompt. That's crazy. Number three is growing on me too. I like that a lot. <laughs> Number two is a little too weird. Weird 100 S 400. Honestly, I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to this. I don't think you'll be able to predict what you're gonna get. It's just fun to play with. Like this, Weird 400 S 400. I would argue that these are pretty terrible, but fun to play with, I don't know. Okay, the second new feature that came out is the new turbo mode. Four times faster for double the price. I don't know how appealing that will be to many of you, but like they say, this is definitely good if you're working in a group or if you're just in a rush. And they know pricing may change as we update this in the future with faster speeds. How is it gonna get faster? And it only works with fast hours. You gotta know that. So let me show you how fast this really is. I'm not gonna edit this at all. What prompt are we gonna do? How about, hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? Now it might take a moment while it says waiting to start, but well, here you go, once it starts, 15, 31, 46, 62, 78, 93. Done. That's, uh, that's insane. <laughs> I, I didn't count how long that was. Was it six seconds? Seven seconds? You're a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Is that the line? I remember when Mid Journey came out, I said, I'd be okay if this took a whole day. Like if you did a prompt and came back 24 hours later and you had your picture, I think I would have been satisfied with that. Now we're getting it in, uh, in a handful of seconds. This is crazy. There's your Mid Journey update. Don't forget to check the free PDFs in the description. And if you want even more options, you can check out my variety prompt pack available on my website. It's just like a little recipe book for you to spark your creativity. I hope you're doing well, take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.